The brass had decided to get us off the front line for a few days, as we had been fighting near non-stop since the start of the invasion. They wanted to give us some rest, but as things are, we are just posted a few miles behind the front line. We could hear the near constant fighting in the distance, as well as the constant shelling and bombing of German positions. So much for rest. Today we're back on the front line. While I feel physically rested, mentally, I still rather be here and fighting as to sit waiting just out of view. Alrighty then, got the cinematic shots in. Time to get things rolling. I think I'm gonna do one. Nah. Should have thought of that before. Yeah, we got ourselves some M3 Lees. I um I like this tank. I actually do. I have a bit of a bit of a soft spot for it, I guess, would be the app accurate description. <laughs> it is considered not to be a great tank. Um but you know. Did his job and it did his job well. Um Yeah, this might also be the point where you're like, hey, uh, last time I checked, you did not research the M3 Lee. You were talking about it. What's up with that? Well, um, the order of the missions is not going to be exactly in order. Because um, you would have realized, like, wait, hold on, weren't we really supposed to have a defensive mission right now? You are absolutely correct. You're not going to get that one. Because it was a snow mission, and, like, story-wise... Narrative-wise, I guess, would be more accurate. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to go from winter to snow, from winter to snow, a whole lot. So I am going to order these in a more narrative fashion, I think would be a good description of what these uh, are going to look like. I have too many tanks, though. Uh, I think I will end up with something like three Shermans-ish, and the uh, rest going to be infantry. Now, can we hit that pump? point from here. Yeah, that's important. I don't think we can, though. Like, I, this thing has significant range, but I don't think it has that much range, right? 200. 300. 30. So it's limited on 330. Nope, nope, nope. It's gonna go for it. Okay, so it's about 360. Okay. Means we need to move it up, though. Get it back on the truck. Um, let's go into the city then. We'll set up a tank here. Tank here. Take the square with these two. Now, can I keep the rest of the infantry behind? As uh, some sort of a, like a backup. Um, there we go. Yeah, so I want to get to the M4. Um, as soon as we can, so... Because as good as the M3 Lees are, in my opinion, um, I think they're not, the M4 is going to be vastly superior to it, just by the nature of uh, having its main gun sitting on a turret, instead of like what we have right now is like the main gun being uh, uh, sponsored mounted, which is, you know, like a little reverse. You need to rotate the entire tank to get shots on target, which is going to be annoying. Um, drive over here, go over here, you can go over here, and I think what we want to do is probably set up around here, make a staging area from there. So, this looks fine for now. Set up a tank over here. Get a tank, oh, and that's why we have tanks. Set this guy up here. We got this guy in a more of a defensive posture. And I'm gonna send the infantry over there and over here. And then the machine gun is probably just going to these bocages, man. They're they're a little bit annoying. Also, I wrote really not really I never I never use machine guns like this. I find them a waste of points usually, but uh we get them for free, sort of, so... Kind of get stuck with them, I guess. It's not the worst, but... It's just... For me, it feels uh, like a hassle, because... Especially these lower ones, they're a bit difficult to set up, because you can't put them really in that well into cover. And some such, right? So let's get the truck... Like... 
Um, I want you to look that away. Actually, just go over here and look that away. Well, dough boys, get move up. See what you can see. See what you can see. I've also been playing a little bit of the campaign. Um, it's really good. It's like genuinely really good. Really enjoying myself with that one. And I recommend uh, playing it if you have, uh, have the opportunity. Alright, so they smoked up here. So I assume there must be something right there. So let me... Uh, I usually hide behind stuff like this. So... Uh, Alright. Fuck that tree, I guess. <laughs> just want to shell it a little bit. I wonder, actually, I haven't checked that, but if there's a Calliope, I would love to get one. Um, I split as a co-op with friends, and I mentioned this in the other video, which just, you won't won't be out when this one's out, which is weird. Oh, oh shit! Let's get back in. Okay, cool. We have seen some some guys. We know where now. We need to uh, aim the gun. But uh, he was run, I would run the infantry and the tanks. Some of the tanks he would run mostly the artillery and the rear line of the infantry. And uh, as a result, he is the infantry specialist. But uh, rocket artillery always did a lot of good work for us. Uh, okay, I think I am going to move you up. It's almost a duality, like you need inventory to spot for the tanks, but you need tanks to take care of the inventory. Right, just break through the hedge here. Suppressing fire. Oh! Shit, 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 shit. Oh my fucking god, what is this tank doing? I, Jesus, that entire squad's just gone. Yeah, my own damn mistake. I didn't realize there was a flamethrower dude there. Well, what the fuck, man? Flamethrowers are brutal. I lost uh, many a uh, tank to just the guy with the flamethrower. <laughs> yeah, what the hell, man? Okay, I need to you to back up a little bit. It supports the gun a bit better. Yeah, well. Like, it also, it just lay here in, like, a stupid little hall, and it was just, just, just killing my dudes. Oh, shit. Come on. Okay, I am need to, going to need to pay a little bit more attention, because I'm fucking up a lot right now. Anyway, flamethrower time. I would love to have one of these myself. Uh... Magnetic mines. Okay, so that seems all the fuel is in the flamethrower itself. All right, cool. You know what? Let me, uh... Let me at him. Okay, doesn't seem... Anything in that house? Ah, crap. Well, it did flame up some guys. Well... Point seems to be broader. Um, hold on, let me get behind this point. I have an idea. Blow the wall. Maybe we can get some infantry through there. It seems to be a bit of a better position. Hopefully that thing goes off. Shoot. At some point. Sometimes this infantry, when it's close range, it's really not... So it just chucks the mine, it doesn't... Where the fuck did you come from? Okay, I'm just gonna use the tank and... Just blow a hole in the wall. Or not. Hmm. It seems to be a little bit sturdier wall. I'm just gonna round a corner, see what we can see. Anything over here? Not really. Yeah, there's no real defensive position either. 
This position sucks to defend. Especially after I, you know, blew out the only defensive sandbags that were present here, but... Alright, I should be able to hold this. Uh, but the rest of us is gonna push on to that. But that means that we need more infantry, so we'll uh, call in the other infantry groups. Um... Uh... And we'll grab the medics and we'll place them like right there and right there. Yeah, and these machine guns are, like I said, I don't really enjoy them. Set one up over here. It's also because they take forever to get where they need to be. Uh, I will put the other one like right there. Um, uh, move up you and move up. Let's see. Hmm. I think I'm gonna try that angle with the Lee. There, there. Um, you. Go through here, and I'll just kind of flank around like that. Whoa! Look at that thing blow up. What's that over there? That's a gun and a half, I think. Okay. I need to adjust mentally to having uh, two guns. Oh shit, what the hell, man? What the hell? You guys crazy? Well, at least the Americans really had the right idea with putting 50 cows on everything. <laughs> the original idea behind it was not as clever. It stemmed from a World War I mentality of having uh, anti-aircraft guns basically available for everybody. Oh, that's a Panzer IV, shit. That's uh, a little bit more spicy. Oh my god, yeah, no, that is definitely more special. I'd hope I could. Well, I, my idea was to put it on the flank, but that thing is definitely. Um, oh shit. And people are messaging me on Steam, so ignore that. Well, now my track's out. Oh shit. Uh, guys, just uh, bail. Bill for now. We'll, we can repair that later, but for now, you're just tanking shots that you don't need. Oh my god, and you get overrun by infantry. Okay, let me just get through this wall. I just replied to that message. Oh shit, that thing is firing at me. I think I got the Lee. You love the damn howitzer. I don't know what the fuck I just hit, but definitely not. I think it just hit the it like a dirt bank. Um. Just to quickly message people. Come on, it's trying to put the main gun. Okay, so f yeah. Lee, not a tank you really want to use, because it's trying to fit the main gun in. Um. Oh shit! We're tracked. Oh, and I have no frame rate. Oh god. Ooh, what's going on? Okay, something happening over there, that's... My, my game... Doesn't want... What the hell? Okay. Something exploding or something that's not really doing so well. Yeah, I need to get some infantry to support the tank over there. Well, we are on the second highest difficulty, so, you know, I'm not really surprised that. This is not even 50 colors, it's only 30 colors. 
Okay, track broken. Something hit the uh, hit the that guy. Wait, that's only a short barrel Panzer IV. What the hell? I thought that was a, a proper one. Yeah, the fuck the ball gun is in. Oh shit, it's in the way. Wait, how did that fire? Let's just launch it. I hope the leak can actually take this. I have no idea. It's something in that thing. I don't think it can hit. I need to get a better angle. At least we can repair the little guy. Okay, we hit something. Definitely hit something. I saw that turret jerk. I think I just blew it up there. Oh yeah, that's dead. Okay, I need to get guys on point. Um, ASAP. Just quickly capture this. This, <laughs> this is not gonna go well. Um... I might not even do a, a... Oh, crap, I'm getting flanked as well. Yeah, this is one of those points where... Um, the enemy has slightly... You no longer have, like, the technological advantage that you just have usually at the start of a... Oh, crap, I need to get to the other end quickly, because that's a... Armored vehicle I'm trying to make mince pie of my guys. Right, that thing is tracked, so that's not going to go and help. So I need to get the other Lee in. Reload AP. I have APHE though. Alright, get fucked, buddy. Here is the Lee. Blah. <laughs> Such a derpy tank. Like I said, I, I, I have a bit of a weakness for the... the, the the Lee. It's, uh, I really always enjoy its complete utter derpness of it. Right, I need to... Wait, did they fucking... Oh my... Okay, no, they, they build again. Did they... Oh, the AI is repairing it? Son of a bitch, that's my tank, you prick. Look at him go! Just gonna steal this American tank and repair it. I've never seen the AI do that before. That's amazing. And that, that's truly is amazing. Continue. Hey there, buddy. Oh yeah, he's running. I have no clue where the guy is now. Don't load HE. I wish I could tell him to just... Oh, crap, I can't. I hit the guy. Where is he? Oh, did he go into the barn? Edited Demosa here. I have been shooting these in a slightly random order because of the winter missions. Because of that, um, I won't be showing the end screen anymore because it doesn't make any sense anymore. Um, obviously I kind of switch between technology levels and that kind of stuff. So, to for the sake of the story, that's it. And I uh, hope we'll see you in the next one. Have a very good day and bye-bye.